In today's video, I will teach you how to make a silhouette in GIMP. Let's get started. Creating silhouettes in GIMP can be visually impactful and a versatile graphic design technique. Whether you're aiming for a simple facial profile or a detailed full-body silhouette, GIMP provides two methods to achieve this effect. Here's a guide on making silhouettes in GIMP. The first method is by using the Quick Selection tool. For this method, we're going to use the Fuzzy Select tool or simply use the shortcut key U for a quick tool switch. Now click on the background of your image for selection. Then invert the selection by going to the menu bar, invert, the select invert, or simply use the shortcut key Ctrl I. Now, create a new layer by going to the menu bar, go to Layers, then New Layer, or simply use the shortcut key Ctrl Shift N. You can name it and fill the selection with black using the Bucket Fill tool. Optionally, create a new layer with a solid background color underneath the silhouette layer. The second method is making a silhouette using custom paths. First, prepare your layers. Open your source image in GIMP. Then create three layers composed of the source image, background layer, and silhouette layer. And make sure that the layers are organized properly in the Layers panel. Now, select the silhouette layer. Switch to the Paths tool or use the shortcut key B. Then place anchor points along the subject's outline, connecting them to form a path. Use the path by holding Ctrl or Command on Mac and clicking the first anchor point. Now adjust the points and curves using the handles as needed. Now, make sure that the silhouette layer is selected. With the Paths tool active, click the Fill Path button in the Tool Options panel. In the dialog window, choose Solid Color and click Fill to fill the path with the foreground color. Now, select the background layer, then use the Bucket Fill tool to fill the background with a color. This method allows you for easy tweaking and adjustment making it suitable for images that don't work well with automatic selections. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.